Welcome to the Iron World channel. Today we'll tell you about the most dangerous and deadly bombs the world has seen. From napalm bombs to the most enormous SAR Bomba, capable of destroying the world in minutes. Watch until the end to learn how a 50 megaton, 210 PJM bomb explodes. By the beginning of World War I, no country in the world had more or less effective aerial bombs. At the time, bombs were commonly referred to as hand grenades and musket or rifle grenades. But in a relatively short time, things have changed quite dramatically. So let's begin. One, Mark 77 Mod 5 Naples Bomb This is an aviation incendiary bomb, equivalent to 250 kilograms of TNT and has an energy release of 1.5 megajoules, with a metal or plastic casing filled with napalm. When dropped, the napalm bomb explodes that the napalm is ignited with the ignition charge and sprayed, creating pockets of fire. The MK-77 Mod 5 incendiary tanks use JP-4 JP-5 jet fuel instead of gasoline and benzol fuel. Studying the experience of using incendiary weapons over the past 50 years, in local conflicts, like in Korea, Vietnam, the Middle East, the NATO command concluded that they can solve a wide range of problems in modern combat as well, inflicting mass casualties on manpower, disabling and destroying combat vehicles and transport, fuel and ammunition depots, as well as disrupting rear operations by creating mass fires at military and industrial facilities, railroad hubs and supply stations, sea and river ports, bases and settlements, and demoralizing enemy troops since a significant psychological effect is added to distracting effective fire. Fire. Two, Tallboy Super Heavy Seismic Air Bomb reaches the ground at high speed and deepens significantly into the soil before detonating. Exploded underground, producing localized earthquakes that destroy nearby underground and above ground structures with a power equivalent of 4.2 tons of TNT and an energy release of 18 megajoules. The seismic bomb of the British engineer Barnes Wallace, weighing more than 5 tons and over 6 meters long, was supposed to be used to sink down in 1945. The German cruiser Kreitzmarine Lutzo, anchored in the PS Canal, the Next to the Bay of Shechen to the Baltic Sea. But for some reason, the bomb didn't explode. The deactivation operation had been underway for a year. Polish Navy experts decided to secure the Tallboy through a deflagration process. The bomb was remotely exposed to heat to burn the explosives, but the ignition process turned into a detonation. A huge column of water rose into the air. The shockwave after the explosion engulfed the canal, creating an earthquake effect. Not surprisingly, since the main purpose of this seismic bomb was to destroy underground bunkers. 3. Moab the Moab bomb, also known as the mother of all bombs, or the largest non-nuclear weapon with a power equivalent to 11 tons of TNT, had an energy release of 46 megajoules. It is equipped with a satellite-guided system and has the explosive power to destroy any military equipment within a few hundred meters on the surface and to demoralize the troops in the surrounding area who survived the explosion. The cost of making one bomb is about $16 million. Meanwhile, the U.S. has already spent more than $314 million to make bombs of this type and manufacture explosives. It was originally built for the war in Iraq, but according to official data, there has been no record of its use there. 4. Aviation Atomic Bomb It is considered the most powerful ammunition in the world, produced in Russia, as an energy release of 184 megajoules and is equivalent to 44 tons of TNT. But due to the secrecy, the real designation of this ammunition is unknown, as the designer and manufacturer as well. There's also no information about the number of units produced, and there's no data that any of the Tu-160 bombers in the Russian Air Force was developed to use this ammunition. 5. Neutron Bombs It's a type of tactical nuclear weapon, equivalent to 300 tons of TNT in energy output, 1.3 TJ, the main destructive factor of which is the neutron radiation flux. After the explosive of this neutron weapon, both a shockwave and light radiation are formed, but most of the released energy is transformed into a flux of fast neutrons. In 1917, in Halifax Harbor in Canada, a French military transport, Mont Blanc, loaded with almost only this type of explosive, collided with a Norwegian ship which was followed by an accidental explosion, the most powerful explosion ever caused by mankind. Its power was equivalent to 3 kilotons of TNT, and the energy release was 13 joules. But nowadays, boron and depleted uranium have been added to the armor of military equipment everywhere, which has almost completely neutralized the main destructive factor of neutron ammunition. This led to the gradual abandonment of this type of weapon, but how the situation is in reality remains unknown. This kind of information is under many security barriers and is practically not available for general use. 6. Little Boy Developed by the Manhattan Project, it was the first successful detonation of an atomic bomb in history, with the equivalent of 15 kilotons of TNT and with an energy efficiency rating of 63 TJ. Little Boy was used as a weapon and was dropped by the U.S. in August 6, 1945 on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. The area of total destruction had a radius of about 1.6 kilometers and fire
fires occurred over an area of 11.4 square kilometers. The city was almost completely wiped out. 90% of Hiroshima's buildings were either damaged or completely destroyed. Number 7. Fat Man it's hard to imagine, but the Fat Man was many times stronger than the Little Boy Bomb because it had a yield equivalent to 23 kilotons of TNT and a power release of 96 TJ, and it was dropped on the Nagasaki city by the pilot Charles Sweeney, commander of the B-29 boxcar. The bomb was powered by plutonium-239 decay and had an implosion pattern and left behind a mushroom cloud of 7,600 meters high, almost as high as Mount Everest, and has remained known as the largest power bomb drop on an inhabited area and hopefully the last. Eight. Cobalt Bomb a theoretical modification of a nuclear weapon giving strong radioactive contamination of an area even with a relatively weak nuclear blast. It is considered a radiological weapon with a blast power hundreds of times greater than nuclear bombs such as Fat Man and Little Boy combined with the equivalent 400 kilotons of TNT and the energy release of 1.7 PJ. If the use of conventional nuclear weapons can be survived in a shelter and then the restoration of the affected areas can start, it will not work with radiological weapons. The area will remain uninhabitable for decades to come. This is the basic idea behind the development and use of the Cobalt Bomb. Nowadays, the Cobalt Bomb is more of a Cold War fiction. It's relatively easy to make, but it's not clear what to use it for. Potentially much more dangerous are conventional dirty bombs, which are not nuclear weapons. Number 9. The B-83 Thermonuclear Bomb This is a US freefall thermonuclear air bomb with a variable power charge equivalent 1.2 megatons of TNT and energy release 5 PJ. Developed in the 1970s at the Livermore Laboratory and adopted into service in 1983, the bomb remains a major type of nuclear weapon in the U.S. Air Force. The physical package contained in the B-83 has been studied for use in asteroid collision avoidance strategies against any seriously threatening near-Earth asteroids. Six such warheads, configured for a maximum yield of 1.2 MT, would be deployed by maneuvering spacecraft to knock an asteroid off course if it posed a danger to Earth. 10. Castle Bravo such a bomb has a two-stage charge in which, for the first time in American practice, a solid substance, lithium deuteride, was used as a thermonuclear propellant. The power of such a bomb is equivalent to 15 megatons of TNT and energy release 63 PJ. The Castle Bravo project is recognized as the most powerful of all U.S. nuclear tests. After the explosion, the mushroom cap was about 100 kilometers in diameter. The leg was 7 kilometer thick. A giant crater about 1.8 kilometers in diameter was formed in the soil of the atoll and the adjacent seabed, which filled with water and greatly changed the shape of Bikini Atoll. The tests also caused intense radiation contamination of the environment, resulting in an oval-shaped area more than 550 kilometers long and 100 kilometers wide, whose major axis coincided with the direction of the wind that carried the radioactive fallout. In the 7.5 hours after the test, radiation levels rose on Rongaric Atoll, 240 kilometers from the site of the explosion, causing worldwide concern and prompting a dramatic examination of existing atoms towards nuclear weapons. 11. The Tsar Bomba 60 years ago, the Soviet Union tested the AN-602, an experimental hydrogen bomb with the highest power ever, equivalent to 50 megatons of TNT and with an energy release of 210 PJ. It was dropped over a polygon on Novaya Zemlya in the Arkhangelsk region. The diameter of the fireball that formed at the place of detonation of the Tsar Bomba was almost as high as the height of the flight Tu-95 that it dropped it. The nuclear mushroom from the explosion rose to the level of the stratosphere, and the leg of the mushroom had a diameter of 40 kilometers. All the stone and wooden buildings in the village of Severny, located 55 kilometers from the explosion center, were completely destroyed. Because of the iron storm raging in the atmosphere within a radius of hundreds of kilometers from the explosion site, radio communication was stopped. The sound wave from the explosion traveled a distance of 700 kilometers. The shock wave from the nuclear explosion traveled three times around the globe. Everyone felt it. It was the most powerful nuclear explosion in the history of mankind and it was one of the key factors that forced the participants of the Cold War to make important decisions to preserve peace. Of course, modern technology makes it possible to create a bomb even more powerful than the Tsar Bomba, but it would make far more sense to put nuclear energy to far more peaceful uses and to use science for the benefit and prosperity of mankind. For example, not so long ago, physicists were able to synthesize a new type of thermonuclear fuel which can make a real revolution in energetics in the near future. Did you like the video? Like it, subscribe, and We'll tell you more about mankind's military weapons technology of all times.